Hi guys, John Kelsey again jumping in here. I want to talk a little bit about the recap. If you're watching this video, you're probably going through the video series on the recap and this is the first video. Now moving forward, there's going to be a s several how-to videos on how to do the recap. Very important to watch those videos. Just go through them in order. Now the last video is going to show you how to go to the proposal menu to build a proposal. But let me just get into what I have on the whiteboard here. You know, a recap is a summary of your estimate. It summarizes everything, okay? Line by line here, it shows material cost, okay? So the recap is going to show you your total material cost in the estimate. It shows the total labor hours, okay? A recap is where you input your markup. Now, the video show you how to do that. I won't get into it now. I'm just giving you an overview here, okay? It, it, it converts the labor hours to dollars to show you your labor cost. Again, watch the videos in order. It shows you how to do that. Now, you do some analysis in the recap. You know, you would never just go estimate, estimate a project and believe that it was accurate. You analyze everything. You'll see the total number of hours in the recap, and you would estimate, or rather, let me say, you would analyze those hours. Here's what I mean. There's eight hours, there's eight hours in a normal working day. Simply put, if you have an estimate with 16 hours in it, what that tells me as an estimator is I have two man days in it, okay? Now, sometimes you get into estimates with hundreds or thousands of hours. You always must analyze them. You break them down. How many guys does it take, or let me say it this way, if you have a 100-hour job, that's one guy how many days? That's one guy how many weeks? Of course, it's a five-day work week. Now, there's a labor analysis video that you'll see, but what I'm telling you is, is that you would never just bang out an estimate and set it like it is. You always analyze everything. Check all of your work. What we say, dot the I's and cross the T's, okay? There's videos in there that show you how to analyze or, or explain the analysis that you do. Also, the recap is where you input your quoted material, stuff like switch gear, circuit breakers, um, motor controllers, okay? Um, Red Rhino doesn't have material pricing for panels and switch gear. Now I'm talking about in the commercial part of it. Uh, you have to get those quoted from your wholesale house. Same with light fixtures in commercial. You must get the fixtures quoted, okay, and you input those quotes into Rhino, okay. And then the other thing is, is that you input your expenses. Expenses like rental equipment, permit fees, third-party testing, maybe mobilization costs, okay. Uh, you input your expenses, and finally, also if you get subcontractor numbers, say you're bidding an electrical project and you're required to provide pricing for fire alarm, and you don't do fire alarm, then you go to fire alarm contractors and get numbers from them, and you input their numbers into subcontracts in the recap. Okay, that's a quick overview. I hope it helps. Go ahead and watch the other videos. Call me if you need help. Take care. John Kelsey out.